know, if you read the modern history textbooks, Reagan is almost invariably portrayed as this right-wing ideologue uh, who held fast to positions that were no longer true, uh, but he was just basically an old fogey, and he wasn't um, in tune with the step of modern times. But that was not true at all. Reagan didn't just see policies or plans of government in terms of uh, left and right. He saw them in human terms. So Reagan was actually there at the beginning. Uh, there at the beginning of the breakdown of civil society and the creation of the welfare state. Uh, his father, uh, living in Dixon, was actually responsible for administering a number of these New Deal programs. And when the men first showed up to be on relief, men who had worked their whole lives long, who had supported their families, who, who truly loved their work, they were, they were down, they were beaten down, they couldn't stand up as straight, they didn't feel as good about themselves in taking handouts. And so what Reagan's father did very adeptly was actually find little odd jobs around the county that they could do so they could feel like that they were working for this relief, this much needed relief they needed that they had to have for their families. Well at any rate, at one point they stopped coming in for these jobs. And Reagan's father didn't know why until he asked him and they said, well, because we're essentially now on another program, which was just straight out welfare. It had nothing to do with works progress, had nothing to do with odd jobs to make feel like you were earning your keep. And what seems to have happened is it was just too tempting. And there was another bureaucracy in town. And that bureaucracy didn't want them to work. It wanted them to be on the dole because that's where their interest was the bureaucrat's interest in having that other program. And Reagan, reflecting years later on this, because it took him a while for this all to sink in, realized that government bureaucracies are there to protect themselves. They're not there with the best interest of the men and women that they claim to serve. They're there to, remain, to maintain a permanent establishment that then eventually reigns over the souls of man and reorders those souls so that you come to think of yourself not as an autonomous human being, not as a self-governing adult, but as a dependent. And that's the business that Reagan didn't want to have anything to do with.